I think that we need to encourage effective foreign investment in Canada and at the same time ensure that there is something given back as well into Canada. So on the matter of real estate, if some of that is our natural resources and we're looking at foreign ownership without uh, ensuring that there are jobs and effective contribution being made to Canadian society and to the Canadian community, then that's a problem. And so we've got, you know, the Conservative government that uh, hasn't been quite as open and transparent on that as I would like. And you get Mr. Kent and his ethical oil sands and, uh, and all of this nonsense. Yes, the mo some of the most important resources, uh, I mean, I know that perhaps you didn't mean that in terms of real estate, but we have to protect our resources and protect Canadian jobs and Canadian contribution and truly have it be ethical. Um, having said that, I think that the business uh, class in immigration uh, should, of course, be supported because we know that people can come in and enhance the economy that way and bring more jobs at the same time as not neglecting other aspects of our um, uh, in policy. We have to invest in people as well. And so family reunification and bringing the elders, having effective visitors' visas, and all the rest to go with that package of investment, then you won't have you know, people just renting out because they have to go back to look after the elders. They can bring them here and live here in peace and harmony for the future of this country. Yeah. Let's so move on to the free debate. Sure. Please. We have a you know, wonderful country in Canada that's been built largely by immigrants. We have immigrants coming into this country, and that's wonderful. The NDP wants to work together with the immigrants of this country, Chinese, Canadian, and others, uh, make sure we have a better, for a better country. But also it means that you need to ensure that every, all the Chinese and other immigrants, that their skills are coming out in this country, you know, that the, the skills and education they've received in their home countries are best expressed in the Canadian economic uh, context. This is, I think, a real kind of way in which we can help uh, work together uh, with immigrants to this country. Regarding investment, this is what occurs when some immigrants come to this country with wealthy backgrounds. If they want to put money you know, into building more homes and et cetera, we say go for it. Of course, we're in favor of stopping the corporate tax cut. And we say you know, let, let all people, let uh, the corporations and the wealthy share uh, the wealth so that you have a better sort of system for, for those who can't afford it or for regular sorts of people who've been uh, hurt by the HST, which the Liberals and, and Conservative governments have stood up in Parliament and consented to and have allowed to happen. And regarding you know, small business owners, the NDP wants to give grants to small business uh, owners who want to have a new idea and who want to improve the economy. The NDP is in favor of those grants. The NDP is against the HST. The HST has hurt so many businesses, including Chinese businesses, in this country, in Thornhill. And the Liberals government on the provincial level put it forward, but they can only do it if they had the consent of the liberal and conservative federal government. This is the HST that has raised taxes on so many issues. And I'm sure that you as a business person have experienced the hardships of the HST. And many citizens have also experienced the hardships of the HST. It's time to make a difference, something that will help small business owners. We oppose the HST. I want to know why the liberal government refused for the first two and a half years of this government to attend parliament to oppose this government. Why is it they were absent from parliament? Why is it they do not do their duties as members of parliament, representatives of the people of the greatest country in the world, in a wonderful democracy? Why they chose, many of them, not to sit inside parliament and to vote and debate and defeat this government if they're so against it? Yet we had this liberal conservative government that was continued by um, the liberal government. I'm sorry, Simon, but would you mind focusing on the The HST investment? was brought forward by the conservatives and liberals who together, as friends, stood up and said we are in favor of it. Only the NDP voted against it. Why? Because we know the concerns of, small, of citizens, of small business people, of those who are having hardships 
the HST is a main hurdle onto the economy. So many people are suffering as a result of these economic problems. The HST even made it worse. And I want to know why the Liberals and Conservatives continue putting it in into this uh, country, into Ontario government. Why is it we have a Liberals and Conservatives that see on the one hand, they're for regular citizens, they're for small businesses, they want to keep their promises. They don't want to um, raise taxes. Simon, and yet they put I'm sorry in the to interrupt. Simon, sorry, but it's a debate. Um, you still have no more than two minutes. Instead of focusing on HST, would you mind talking more about a foreign investment? I won't focus on the HST because, in fact, it's the Harper sales tax. That's what the H stands for in the HST. Um, I have nothing more to say on the foreign investments. I think that it's important to encourage foreign investment. I think it is important to encourage the kind of uh, effective uh, collaboration. I think it's important for anyone who's investing in Canada also to that, that the governments ensure that there's a contribution uh, made to, to Canada and, and that, uh, you know, I, I, what I want to do is, is uh, ensure that those who, who that, we, that we utilize the resources of, of the Chinese community and other communities to even be the ones who negotiate those kinds of investments and are, and are part of the team that enhances the productivity of Canada as a result. We need to prevent outsourcing in this but country. I find this situation that uh, um, Canada doesn't grant business visa that easy. That's why a lot of the business delegations from China are restricted to come here to visit to understand our investment opportunity here to create jobs. Yeah. yeah so this is the situation. Well, the, con the conservative government has continue to tighten, tighten, tighten on all of the kinds of visa applications. There's such fear mongering and this has to stop. This has to stop and we have to put the well-being of Canada. What I want to focus on are the wonderful people who chose this country, who chose to, to come to Canada, a country where we do have uh, you know, human rights and free economy and democracy and then enhance their ability to work to bring people, you know, with the visas, you know, visitors visas, business visas, to work together so that we can enhance investments and jobs in Canada. Okay, that's it Canada. for the last round. We'll be back with the closing statement. Stay tuned. <laughs>